hello guys and welcome back to ivy and skin channel thank you guys for tuning in and today i want to make face oil for you guys i'm going to have a little demonstration at my workstation showing you how i get to make mine but at the same time I'm going to let you know how you can make yours now the good thing about uh, this video today is that i'm going to just uh, not just talk about uh, face uh, oil I'm as well going to tell you how you can make a various skin um, face oil for various type of skin, dry skin, sensitive skin, oily skin, acne prone skin, combination skin, and normal skin. So let's get straight to it. But guys, please do not forget, you know what to do. I love it when you guys subscribe because you guys keep me going, you guys keep my video coming. So please kindly support your girl by subscribing to this channel so that I'll keep bringing more videos for you. At the same time, do not forget to click on your notification bell so whenever I put out a new video, you'll be the first to be notified. So guys, let's get to it. So why do we need face oil? You know, people just tend to think that uh, oil are meant for bodies and not for your face at all. Totally wrong. I, I don't blame them either. Once upon a time, I was like that. But as time goes on, I go into my practice, I got to learn and understand the basic and importance of oils for your face, especially especially i mean you i i know like you will like not be able to believe this especially for oily face and acne prone face you need oils for your face let's not even go into dry skin <laughs> but oily and acne prone face skin face like you need oil for your skin believe me and there are various like various types of oil for various types of skin so don't let that scare you like Oh, acne, oh, oily skin, what do I need oil on my face for? Trust me, sis, you need oil on your skin to balance your oil production. Now, let me first of all say this about oily skin and acne prone skin because this is the one people that believe that they don't even need oils at all. So let me help you guys. The benefits of facial oil, you have to understand that there's oils already in your face yes which is called a sebum and now when you don't apply oil on your face for a long time it leaves your skin thirsty yes it leaves your skin thirsty and when your skin is thirsty it uh, sort of triggers the production of the sebum in your face so it sends a trigger to the sebum telling it that hey the skin surface needs oil, it's dry, come on, let's do our thing. So your uh, skin inside starts releasing excessive sebum to make up for that oil at the top of your skin that you're not applying, that it's lacking. So when it does that, it, it overdoes it. That is just the way it's wired. It overdoes it, it overdoes, uh, overproduces the sebum. Therefore, clogging your pores because it does uh, the production of the sebum excessively it releases too much sebum that clogs and blocks your pores therefore leading to breakout and now that is the one that happens from the inside now about the outside when you don't apply uh, oil on it oil acts like a film sort of like a barrier on top of your layer of your skin it penetrates inside but then it like acts like a barrier at the face at the top of your skin your face so when you don't apply oil on it so that's your face now is substantial to bacteria and deaths and all that so now that film that protective barrier barrier it's not on the top of your skin so anything dust and all that um, things will just fly into your pores you you might not see them with your eyes you might know they're microscopic. So when they fly into your on your skin, settle on your skin, and could go straight into your pores. Now that and the sebum production meet each other, they sort of like jam together. That's why the bacteria from outside and excessive sebum production from your skin meet each other, marry each other, and <laughs> turn to big old pimple acne for you that's it so now i hope i have managed to give a brief explanation why 
if you're acne prone and oily skin you do need oil for your skin so when you do apply oil on your face please don't get me wrong when i say oil i don't just mean any oil in the market especially i'm talking about acne and uh, oily skin right now so when you do apply the oil on your face it sends a message immediately to your sebum telling them that hey we're cool here we don't need you you know <laughs> we, don't, we don't need you producing anything we don't need you saying any sebum they'll be like okay i'm fine where i am so when there's oil at the top layer of your skin that penetrates inside the sebum just relaxes and just stays there keeping the under layer of your skin and the collagen relaxed you know with your collagen your skin looks plump and young and wrinkle free so now when you apply the oil on your face your collagen gets the message your sebum gets the message that they are good to go they need to stay in place stay there and make your skin look supple and leader uh, put uh, wrinkles at bay but without oil they get all cranky and hysterical and be like hey 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 emergency emergency we need oil at the top layer we need oil at the top layer so they start flying out like really fast and cause that problem for you so put your oil on your skin you will prevent acne you will make your skin stay wrinkle free plumped young glowing and especially if your skin has a spot left over from pimples or sunburns or anything like that it helps to slow away dead skin and dead skin is one of the things that does clog your pores as well okay so now sensitive skin or uh, dry skin dry skin of course it goes without saying you need oil as well it makes your skin stay young because when you have dry skin it makes your skin look um well i say not just wrinkleish, but it makes it look old and dull you know no matter the cream you apply your skin just look chalky like a chalk you know like a, i don't that's a word okay i'm short for words so yes we do need oil for our face whether you're oily prone whether you're acne prone because these are the two major skin types that think they don't need it at all so please you are guy you guys are being the number one people that need oil for your skin like you are number one oily acne prone skin you're number one that needs oil for your skin so now, just because I say you need oil on your face doesn't mean you should go slattering oil and, you know, slopping the whole thing all over your face. You have to understand how to use it. Oil mostly, especially when you're in a warm climate, you must apply your oil only at night, only a few drops. It, it doesn't have to be like a whole lot, like you're applying your face cream. A few tiny drops, say four drops on your four corners of your face, the forehead, the jaws, and both cheeks, and you just rub it in, <clears throat> and it will go a long way. That's it. You don't have to go slow in everything on your face. Then um, in the night, especially, that's when your face, uh, your skin is at its resting phase. So when it's at its resting phase, that's the time it will suck in all the nutrients and the goodies from the oil. And in the morning, you wake up with a fresh baby skin face. Then secondly, you don't want to put it on your face in the daytime because, come on, you'll be up and about, your blood temperature will be high, and not high per se, but your blood is... At this boiling point you're working you're up and about doing your thing and the oil is just gonna cause you heat and make you sweat and perspirate then uh, but if you're in a Western world where you have winter and all that you can apply your oils during the daytime it's even best you apply daytime and the nighttime as well so please know these basics then secondly if you must apply your oil please do not leave out your neck let me call it your ducolette that's the word Okay, do not leave out your decolette, your neck. Always apply whatever you apply in your face. Apply under your chin, under your neck as well. So the both, uh, both of them, the skin will be uniform and they will look even. Because most people have uh, wrinkles on their neck even before they appear on their face. So it balances the skin texture of the face and the neck. All right, guys, enough of me blabbing too much. Let's go. Uh, let me show you the recipes for each uh, skin type of oils. Let's get to it.
so guys here i want to make my own face oil and i'm going to use a goji berry face uh, serum i have about 10 ml left in the bottle dropper it's a total of 30 ml i made for a few of my clients so i just have some left in the bottle about 10 ml and i'm going to use that to make my own face oil and uh, this is my infused oil in a jar with herbs and then uh, chamomile, lavender, saffron, I think quite a lot of rose, rose petals as well. If you want to learn how to make this oil, I have the video. I'm going to leave in the description box for you. So basically, I'm not going to show any measurement as to how I make this. It's just a demonstrational video showing you how you can make yours as well. So with the guidelines I've given you so far, I'm sure you can you know use this discretion and know what to do I'm actually using a golden face serum I'm using a vitamin A glutathione injection serum jojoba oil because I have oily acne prone skin face skin um, vitamin A yes I mentioned that uh, and I'm using a orange essential oil few drops uh, in the trentinoy light of trentinoy uh, spots remover because I have some spots from acne leftovers as well so basically that's the ingredients I'm putting together to use and as you can see some of the herbs are in there in the oil yes I like that <laughs> because it gives it the oil a beautiful look one and it infuses into the oil while you're using it the, or the herbs are there and they infuse and you know you get the benefits from the herbs as well chamomile as we know is soothing for the face so chamomile oil is good so when you have the herbs there in the oil it releases the component that gives you that soothing you know for your face so guys thank you very much i really hope you enjoyed this video and i look forward to hearing from you guys click the subscription button and